pitcher spot is due up and let's check in with Greg Murphy. All right thanks Tom. Well there are a wall of famers everywhere and we have the uh, 2012 inductee Mike Lieberthal here with us and uh, I, I guess when you come back um, and you get to be a part of the ceremony on Friday night and see the new guys going in it brings back the memories of the night that, that you were enshrined. It does it brings back a lot of nerves. I think I'm, I think Pat Burrow was pretty happy once the speech was over and he can relax with his family but uh, it was uh, quite an opportunity it was great you know to bring back the memory of what I had my my family here and to, to go on in such a wall and special people on that wall with Boone and Darren Dalton to follow them was uh, it's quite an honor. You know you look up on that stage on Friday night and then you know you look around just the suite in here and you see the guys that uh, played before you and then played after you and then some of the guys that you played with as well uh, and you think about the Phillies history it's got to be pretty special to be able to celebrate that uh, year in and year out uh, when you come on back for alumni weekend. It does to be part of such a special organization. I mean there's not many organizations like the Phillies that really take care of their alumni and uh, to come back and see guys from you know guys that I played with you know Burroughs in town this week so it's really uh, guys from pretty much from 2000 to 2006 when I played here and uh, to see those guys I haven't seen in a while even guys that just retired like guys like Nick Punta who's only yeah. been out a year. Um, it's pretty special just to come back and see players like that and obviously I always see the Wall of Famers every year just to see Mike Schmidt and, and Dalton and Crook every year is uh, pretty awesome and to play golf with them is pretty special too. Which you'll get a chance to do. I know it's been a busy weekend. You've already played golf two times. You're going to play again tomorrow but uh, you're out in California now so what are you up to uh, what can folks uh, where can folks find Mike Lieberthal out there on the West Coast. Yeah right now just uh, following my three boys you know one's about to turn seven in a couple days. And uh, so I have three boys, two, four, and six right now, and uh, they're totally into baseball. I have, uh, you know, all the channels up with MLB special package up on TV and five TVs going, so they're definitely into the baseball thing and uh, play games in the family room, and they kind of keep me going with karate and swim lessons and... Uh, you know, besides that, playing a little golf with some friends and really just enjoying uh, my family. Yeah, being a dad is a full-time job for sure. Uh, before I let you go, we were just talking about this team. As you said, you, you keep up uh, with Major League Baseball, and they're playing some pretty good baseball right now. Uh, who catches your eye, some of these young guys? Uh, anyone jump out at you with some of the guys you've seen? Well, Franco, of course, at third. I met him in the uh, All-Star festivities. I was doing the MLB.com stuff in Minnesota, and that's when uh, he played in the Futures game. So. I got a chance to speak to him a little bit. Great kid, you know. He's uh, he's a pretty special player. He's got a lot of power. He's a, you know really good third baseman, and I'm sure he's going to be here a while. And uh, you know, there's a lot of other younger kids, and just nice to see. Uh, some energy in the dugout you know they've been on a streak here lately and hopefully they can keep it going that is the plan well uh, Mike uh, thanks for being with us enjoy the rest of the weekend and uh, enjoy the golf tomorrow as well it's always good to see it thanks I will. thanks for having me. all right guys let's send it back to you all right Murph uh, if you want there's some federal donuts next to Levy <laughs> if you're interested yeah, we're gonna, 